guys. I'm going to take some stuff to the metal recycle. And this is the first thing that's going to come up. Yes, I got a video on these ramps too. Your hand. I mean, that's how they clip onto the tail. Right thing here? Almost, eh? Now for some fun. So this is just full of junk metal brackets. You get it, right? Bent, bent blades. Junk metal. I know that there's something in here that I'm going to need tomorrow. I'm thinking of keeping this. Is that all there is to it? I parted out a Honda with a bad shaft on the engine, eh? There we go. I think that's going to keep that just at the last minute. Something told me. Is that as high as I can go? That's too bad. That's better than nothing, though. Oh, I don't know why. It's because my truck's angled at the apron. That's all right. That's pretty good. aluminum by the way. Yes, that's a Tecumseh and a Kohler uh, flywheel in there. And I've got lots of those. Okay. Take you with me and we'll go to the other site. All right, we fit her in with shoe horns. This one's aluminum, the rest are steel, and this is a box of uh, steel and two pails of aluminum. We'll see how we do. So, now this is this is the maintenance man's area. Just one John Deere snow, snow blower to fix. And the rest are working machines. Well, that's pretty good, guys. Oh, there's all my junk. Truck's nice and clean except for the box. And then they took my aluminum over there. Right on, eh? And I'm going to the office to get paid. We'll find out how much I get. Aluminum cast, 2145. Aluminum SWEAT, I don't know what that means. Uh, that's standard steel, only $16, no, $18.64 for most of that load. And then I had a tiny brass 
part of a pump that got wrecked. Twelve dollars for the, the a handful of brass was a fifth of the whole thing. Fifty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Isn't that cool? And we're back. I got my truck back. So thank you folks for coming with me to the metal recycler. Okay, you guys have been asking where I keep my stuff. I've been through all my parts now over the last month and especially last week. I bought these six totes. I am going to cover them with a tarp somehow, like a 2x4 weighted down tarp so it doesn't blow away. Not like that crazy mess on the wood pile, but it's a wood pile! So this is interesting. This is one of the totes and in there are transmissions. That's a Honda. There's a Honda clutch, MTD, handles, and these are thatching blades. Oh, and some side chutes. I've never had to worry about the top on a self-propel. I've never had to worry about that little uh, plastic piece that covers the belt. I've never had to replace too many of those. So, and then we got wheels, mower blades. That might be interesting for you guys to have a look into. See that? 20 inch, 21 inch, and 22 inch. Too funny. Eh? Pressure pump stuffs and pulleys, wheels and wheels and height adjusters. So let's just go into the shed now without getting dizzy. So this is the standard weapons, right? Tools that don't need fuel. I hang a lot of my stuff. Leaf blowers, weed whackers, the nice old Husqvarna there. And my four engines there and down there. And then I've got all this beautiful bench space now, right? So anyway, up here, Honda. These are old paper boxes from a printing company, right? Honda, Briggs, 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 and then Tecumseh down there are boxes, right? So no other parts except for engines down at the end. And I'll be right back. All right, so you guys are familiar with this. So up there, Filters, cables, gas caps and spark plugs, um, rewinds, and then coils, and then down over here, of course, you've got Honda carburetors, Briggs carburetors, Tecumseh carburetors, and then, uh, this is cool, that white basket is wheel adapters. I'll just get you like this. And that's my parts. That's, if it gets any bigger than that, I edit, which I've been doing. I call that editing. Thanks, guys. The only piece of junk in my, in my uh, junk pile, and it's not a piece of junk, is my little weenie roast barrel. It's a, uh, that's a washing machine tub.